Uh, where are we at? Okay, so we're playing a bullet match 2 1, and then we're going to play a 3 0, then play a 5 0, and a 10 0. Only one that we're playing with an increment is this 2 1, which we don't really like, but we're just going to jump in. Let's go, let's fire away. Let's attack, let's attack the center. beginning to understand it's not really my speed that I need to worry about it's just the actual positions on the board the actual moves that I'm making because I move fast enough it's just making sure that I'm making the right moves that's the key thing going for a cheapie obviously you know you can try you can try let's castle take the queen Take the queen. He's got a two on one here, but he's not wanting to fall for that. Let's go for this. Stands in here, and let's hit it again. Oh, we can't hit it with that pawn, but we can hit it with this one. Because the bishop's got the dia. Oh, the diagonal, not the diagonal. Oh, 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 that's gonna hurt. That is going to hurt. Let's attack the bishop. Let's take. Let's attack the, what the knight was staying there, but it's not. So the plus one, as we mentioned, just because they've got more material doesn't mean they're winning the game. Now they're losing time, but it is a one second increment. Oh, and they've resigned. Don't think it was resignable, really. But um, I'm going to jump on to a 3 0 oh, next game. Shall we just go straight in on it? 3 0 oh, oh, and 0 and any color. Okay, plain as white. Don't need to move as fast. It's uh, it is just a blitz match. So let's just go here with the bishop. Let's hit the knight. Let's take the pawn and castle. Get the bishop out. X-ray through to the key queen. Take the knight. Let's get this knight out. We could hit the bishop, couldn't we? I'm going to hit the bishop. I'm going to hit the bishop again. And we're going to take. And he wants to get rid of our queen, um, bishop. I'm going to put a check on the king. Take their queen off the board. They might just take the bishop for free anyway. That's a wrong move order. That was a wrong move order. No? Okay. Maybe they did the move order wrong then. Let's attack the rook. So this could go quite easily be a draw now. So let's see how we want to play it. Move the, try and get the king across maybe. I don't think they'll allow us that, but we'll try anyway. Just move the rook. Move the king. Take, attack. Take. Doesn't take. Okay, is that to their detriment? Shall we keep the king on this side or do we want to come on this side? Hmm. Let's stay with their king. Let's stay with their king. Let's attack the pawn. Time's running out. Shall we attack the pawn? Just drops down one, doesn't it? Hit the pawn. Take. And let's attack this pawn. And let's come into the center. I think we can take. Let's go for a Zugzwang. Push. 
move the king bait in the pawn not interested let's hit their king take with hit their king let's push this and if we pushed so we move the king take maybe or just move if we move then we kind of lose out so let's move the king so his king's looking to but it can't come down there anyway and it only place it can come is here so we'll move here move back again move up oh they've given us have they yeah they have and they've resigned okay just a quick look just to show what we're talking about yeah they gave us that space i think it they should have come here but that's fine that's good and um, we'll go in for a 5 0. Might as well just stay in on here. 5 0, any colour black this time. Let's go. Let's take and let's push the pawn. Let's bring the bishop support in the knight. Let's, shall we take with the bishop and then just double up? Yeah, there we go. Queen's out looking for this pawn. So we may as well go here with the queen. It's looking for the cheapy now with the bishop. So maybe we bring the bishop out. It's going to take the pawn now. And then we're going to hit the queen. Queen goes running back. And we can go and castle on the queen side. Just to make it a little bit funky for them now. This is going to be very interesting. I'm going to like this. Let's go here with the knight. So let's move the queen out of the way. Let's move the rook facing their king. I'm going to like this development, I believe. Queen's gone greedy munching on the other side of the board. We're going to hit the pawn here. Queen obviously comes back to protect, but it's too far away. All right, so like I said, I'm going to find this very interesting, this game. That's where Bishop wants to do something. It wants to just destroy these pawns in front of the king. Let's take. Okay, nice. So if we take and then a take and then we're just in front of the king. So take. There. And in theory, it looks like we could just get a draw. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Excellent, refold. Thank you very much. Now let's go for the ten and door. Let's just click this thing here. See how we get on. All right, playing as white. Oops, excuse me. Let's push. So be a bit slower this game. Slower than the blitz moves. If the opponent's moving. Okay, took a while starting there. Mm -hmm. Shall we develop the knight? Get the bishop out. I've not done this attack in ages. Attacking the knight with the bishop in the early doors. And taking as well. Old school. I've grown old school. Let's attack this centre here. Wow. That feels like baby chess. Let's take this pawn. And let's take the knight. Let's take with a check. Whirlwind onto the pawn. Bishop comes to protect. Or not. So it's actually doubling the pawns there. Old school baby chess. Let's bring the bishop out, attacking the pawn. Okay, dark square bishop looks like it's making space for something. Let's castle. And let's put a check on the king. It's attacking our pawn, that's why he's moving so swiftly. 
got a check on the king with the bishop. Moved out of the way, so now just um, support the pawn for a brief moment. The pawn's going to be attacked. Attacking the bishop because the pawn's going to be hitting it. Doesn't want our bishop, our pawn protecting. So let's just put, uh, protect with this pawn. Does on pass on. But then we get a check on the king if we capture. at the stark difference to the speed and tempo of this te 10 minute game so much different to the franticness of the blitzy type stuff so we're going to hit the rook doesn't have any place in the center of the board unless of course it's to his benefit and i've missed a trick so he's wanting to looks like he's wanting to double up And we're kind of giving them it because if they go back one, we can go here. So we've got enough time to protect the bishop and come across. So they moved out of the way. Let's just bring this rook here. Maybe just bring the bishop support in. Just bring this pawn here. It looks like he's just attacking. He's got the x-ray through onto our rook with the bishop. So before they get to it, we could do this. Attacking the rook. Does take. Could take with the bishop, but you know, don't want him x raying through to our rook, so we may as well just continue with this. Does capture still. Alright, so they're plus one, probably going to be plus two now after that. So let's just go with that. Then attack their pawn at the top. Rook comes to defend. Slide over to this one. Doesn't do that, gets carried away, and we take the bishop off the board. They probably didn't realise that, and now they're flicking, so it looks like they may be leaving the game. So that's a bit of a surprise, but yeah, moving too quick. The pace at which it was going at nice and slow before was really working for, working for them, was working for me. Um, but yeah, getting a little bit overzealous with, oh, I'm getting loads of pawns off. And they've left the game. That resign button must not be available on some people's computers or their phones. Interesting. So that's the whole session. Um, yeah, look forward to the next one.